So yesterday I was uh, like, yay, it's chemo day. I'm not gonna get prodded with a needle. I don't have to go in for a biopsy and have radioactive stuff put through my body. It's chemo teach. So I was pretty excited. I had taken in my supplements to talk with Gloria and all of them passed except for fish oil. So that is the only thing out of my entire supplement bag yesterday that has to go. So I'm pretty jazzed and excited about that. What I wasn't jazzed and excited about was the chemo plan. So it's pretty intense. And so I did what every good cancer patient does is they text their oncologist, Dr. Bellick, and they say, um, I don't like this plan, can I have another? And so I did, I texted him and I said, can I have another treatment plan? And he said, no, and if you keep it up, I'm gonna take away your nausea medication. So, oh, it's gonna be bad. So, um, I've done like head on the table, head on people more yesterday afternoon, like it's gonna, like I'm gonna get up and it's just gonna go away. And it's not. So um, there's a reason why the treatment plan is so aggressive and that's simply because my cancer is spread um, not only just from my breast to my lymph node and possibly other places. And so they just want to be super cautious and they don't want me to have to go through this um, again. So it is an aggressive treatment. So I have... Um, four cycles of a really strong uh, chemotherapy regimen and then it gets a little easier in January but it's just going to be um, getting through now and the end of the year. So I learned everything there is to know about the side effects and the medicine that you can take to alleviate the side effects and the medicine that you can take and the things that you can do to alleviate the side effects from the side effect medication yesterday. So yeah, I mean, it's all in my uh, notebook um, that I keep so I have everything in one place. And I feel like I did have a head start to yesterday uh, simply because the cream, the port cream cream um, that goes on. So Wednesday, I guess I'll have the port and Gloria was fantastic yesterday in chemo teach. She actually pulled out what a port looks like, which I thought was super helpful because I have no idea. And so it literally is like a little round um, tube and then it has, well, it's a round like kind of thing and then it has a tube that is attached to it. And that's how the chemo will be administered. administered. And so um, there's a cream that goes around it and then a patch that goes over the cream. So I have my cream, I have my patch, I have scripts and meds filled for nausea in case something does happen. Um, which I don't think it will, but you know, again, it's just nice to have that um, as a precaution. And then I've got, um, I'll be working on the rest of this week, just really going through the things that I can do to alleviate the side effects. And that's going to be sore mouth and then your nails and um, feet beds get um, really dry and brittle and will, will kind of come up apparently. And so I am going through getting coconut oil and just all sorts of different things to avoid as many as the side effects of chemotherapy as I possibly can. So I'm gonna keep my um, head up off the table today and I'm gonna move forward, it's gonna be fine. Um, and then I'm meeting with a uh, nutritionist today to talk a little bit about how I can um, naturally alleviate the side effects of chemo ginger. There's probably all sorts of different things. So. Anyway, it'll be a good um, learning head off the table day.